All right, welcome. This is the AP Physics uh, workbook solutions here. We have one I, which is called the chase. Here's the scenario. A truck is traveling at a constant speed of 20 meters per second through a school zone. At time t equals to zero, he passes through a hidden police car that is at rest. Five seconds after the truck passes, the police car begins accelerating at a constant rate of two meters per second squared in order to catch the truck. Part A. On the axis, um, at the right, sketch and label um, the graph of the velocity of the truck and the police car as a function uh, for the first 40 seconds after the truck um, passes the hidden police car. Use different colors or different lines um, to indicate this. Include a key. Okay? So, first of all, please understand that this is a velocity graph. Okay? So, that's what I decided to pick. Okay, um, I went up by um, a 30 here, and and for the velocities, so it's up by fives, and this the time was also by fives. Okay, because I think I could reach up to that 40 seconds. Okay, yeah, 40 is right here. All right, so first of all, I'm going to give the truck's uh, velocity, and it says here that the truck is going at by 10. Yeah, so the truck was going at 20 meters per second, okay, and it's flat, all right. Now, um, at T0, he passes through a, a hidden police car, right. Now, five seconds later, so here at five seconds, right, this is where the police car. Now, some things that you want to look at. The reason why it's flat here is because the police car has no velocity here because it says five seconds after the car passes right then it begins to accelerate the acceleration or the slope of the velocity graph do you see the slope here is two meters per second squared all right so that is the difference because here remember it gives you the acceleration okay so this is how the velocity would look like good all right so Using the graph you made in part A, determine the time in which the speed of the truck is equal to the speed of the police car. It's right here. This is when the speeds are the same. Their velocities are the same. And this is at like 15 seconds. I th uh, oh, It's a little bit off based on the graph. But the police and the truck have the same speed of 20 meters per second at time 19. Again, it's supposed to move a little bit closer. It's just the way the look of the graph is. Okay. This is where they intersect, all right? Think about this as the break-even or uh, when the velocities are the same, right? Think about systems here, okay? How will the position of the police car and the truck compared, right? So the, poli the position can be determined by looking and calculating the area of the curve because, again, this is the velocity graph. To get position, we take the integral, so the area under the curve. So... The area under the curve here, um, let me show you. The area under the curve is this. So let's say this is the area of the, so this, right? This is the area of the police, okay? The area that's represented by what I'm shading is how far the police has traveled. So the police, let me just do right here, traveled this much. So just think about the area, okay? But the truck at this point was going this much area, right? Do you see that? It's this much area, okay? So the area under the curve of the truck is greater than the area under the curve of the police. That means the, the truck is ahead of the police car because, again, the area gives you the distance. The area of the velocity graph gives you the distance. There is more area, f There's more area for the truck, so that means the truck went a further distance. Explain in a, in a short sentence or two how you can use the graph in part A to determine the time in which the truck and the police car are at the same location. 
Okay, so please understand here, you understand that this is the, this is the velocity is the same. So same speed, all right? But now you are looking for what? The, uh, explain how you want the same location. How do we get location? Okay, remember, we had velocity and we had time, right? And we know that, let's say, the slope was like this. The slope of the police car was like this, right? This is a police. So the area here, the area here will give you the distance. Uh, it would give you... The distance traveled okay so this is the distance trav distance traveled okay now here's the truck okay here's its velocity graph right and here it's its time and it was like this all right and again this is going to give us this all right, and we know th th this is uh, this is this area, and then it's uh, the distance is just this. It just flats. All right, okay. All right. So how do we know when it's the same distance? Right, we want the same distance. How do we get the same distance? It's when this area is going to be equal to the area under the curve of velocity and time is equal to the area under the curve of velocity and time for the tr for the police car okay the truck and police car will have the same location when the area under the curve of the velocity and time graph for both of them is the same value All right. Now let's look at here at the acceleration. Okay. Um, Angelica says since the police car is accelerating, the graph of the position versus time. So here's the position and time um, shows the speed is changing. The graph of the position versus time of the police is occurring. Okay. Which aspect of Angelica's reasoning is true? For there to be a constant acceleration, um, the velocity versus graph has to be a linear slope. So she is correct that it is a curve. If you would like to see, I show the demonstration here on the right. So uh, the position and time is curving, right? For for to get you a um, linear slope. Okay. So this is true for the police car. We already saw that, right? But, so that is, uh, did I answer the question? Yes, that is what is true about her answer, okay? So my claim, reason, and evidence is correct. For there to be a constant acceleration, the velocity versus time graph has to have a linear slope as well as a curved slope for the position versus time graph, correct? And the graph of position versus time should be curved good and my explanation is the velocity versus time graph has a linear slope good and we already showed its linear slope from the um, first part okay angelica is correct with the description of the look of the curve angelica is correct with the description of the look of the graph being a curved all right now we want to look at Blake's reasoning. Blake says, um, I can't see how that can be. The police car waited five seconds before moving. The graph should have started um, should have started at five comma zero. So Blake said, it shouldn't start here. It should start at here. It should start at five um, seconds, right? Because the police waited, right? It's the, but this is true. This is true, right? this is true if this was referring to the velocity graph it doesn't okay so blake's statement of the police car waiting five seconds before moving is correct 
okay there should be a flat line for the first five seconds to show no change so there should be this right right because again there was no position for the first five seconds then after five seconds the curve should look the same as the acceleration okay there you go all right that would be different okay but good because the police waited five seconds so the distance was still going and it still has the same slope okay so this was not correct okay so the only thing happened is the five second delay for the police to move so that was correct okay so the graph should be uh, moved to um it has a vertical uh, sorry horizontal shift okay it shouldn't be changing in position it should be ch um it should be changing horizontally because that's where the time delay was not in the position okay and let's see good that is blake's explanation yep and that's it that's your solutions